Howdy, folks. How are you? How is the sound? How is the lighting? And were you scared just now? <laughs> uh, bear with me. And yes, as you can see, I'm wearing my Ghostbusters uh, boiler suit. I've not worn this since I did my Puppy Panic reviews of the Ghostbusters films. It's been a while. I'm not even sure if it still fits. It kind of does. But it does feel like the slightest movement I do is probably going to tear. But to be to be fair, it's, it's a cheap boiler boil suit. Bo 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 bo. Bo 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 bo. Ooh, I knew the Lee would like that intro. Ah, <laughs> uh, right. Okay, yeah. So today we're gonna be doing a quiz on the Ghostbusters franchise. And um, when I say the Ghostbusters franchise, I mean nearly everything, pretty much. Uh, it's not. It's not just gonna be the first two Ghostbusters movies. Um, round one will be all four Ghostbusters movies. Uh, round two, I think, is real Ghostbusters. Um, I've not seen Extreme Ghostbusters, so I, I couldn't really do a round for all the cartoons. They're just real Ghostbusters. Round three, I, I think, is comics. And then round four is video games. And round five is behind the scenes. So... I will say that, like, you mainly have a chance of winning this if, like, you're obsessed. I mean obsessed with Ghostbusters, because I go into, like, every little aspect of Ghostbusters. Um, blah, 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 blah. Listy, I'm as excited as Lorenzo's voice sounds. <laughs> uh, so, thanks for that, Jeff. You're welcome. <laughs> Uh, Leo, only just got sat down with my tea, been running around like a headless chicken all day with so much to do, and I have the pumpkin pies to bake tonight as well, but if I can do well on this quiz, it'll make my day, well, good luck, and I still need to try a pumpkin pie. Wait, have I tried a pumpkin pie? I don't know, but I'm planning to try one on Halloween day. It's going to be my dessert on Halloween day. <laughs> uh, so, uh, so does that include the cartoon work that has no ties to Ghostbusters? Yeah, like I just said, I can't, I couldn't do any questions on Extreme Ghostbusters because I've not seen Extreme Ghostbusters. So when I say cartoons, just real Ghostbusters. That's that's the only. There is an Extreme Ghostbusters question later on, but like it's not really a question on Extreme Ghostbusters. You'll understand when we get to it. Um, and if there's any Ghostbusters fans in this chat that are like, Ooh, I've got this. I'm gonna get a perfect score." And, <laughs> Trust me, it gets harder and harder and harder. And there is a question in the final round that, like, you will all groan at me and be like, What? That's not fair! <laughs> so don't get too cocky. Um, oh, yes, it must. It's a must. I'll be looking forward to tr seeing you try it. Um, oh, I could try it live, actually. I could try it live on stream. Try, try the pumpkin pie live on stream. That is possible. Uh, I, will be, I will be streaming on Halloween Day. Uh, Listy, Extreme Ghostbusters is enjoyable for I remember. I mostly watched it for my secret husband, Jason Marsden. Good taste. Good taste. <laughs> Leo says I'm scared. <laughs> well, to be fair, it's a Ghostbusters quiz. So, <laughs> uh, so I'm probably going to sit this one out a, a bit sore tonight. Oh, bless you. Hope you get all soon. Uh, can we get Extreme Ghostbusters was, was how I discovered that franchise, actually, when I was a little lad. Oh, interesting. That was your intro. I'd say my intro was probably the first ever Ghostbusters, I think. Or, or it was Ghostbusters. Do I can't remember. It was a long time ago. I'm old again. <laughs> I actually don't know where I started. <laughs> hmm. So, uh, we will we'll start the quiz very, very, very soon. Very super soon. Uh, Soda, who gonna call Ghost Snapper? Ghost Snapper! <laughs> hey, Vegeta! Vegeta! They're doing a quiz! They're doing a quiz, Vegeta! <laughs> uh, Leo, oddly enough, my introduction was the second film. I feel, I keep feeling like the second film was my introduction, but I don't know. I really don't remember. I would have been probably like 8 or 9 when I first saw anything Ghostbusters related. I did grow up watching some kind of Ghostbusters cartoon, but I can't remember if it was extreme or real. I don't remember. Let me look for my gray hairs. <laughs> I really don't remember. I was part of a question that should have been asked. Who was responsible for significantly lowering the real Ghostbusters quality? Uh, fearless viewers know who. I forgot who they were. I honestly forgot who they were. I know the I know the station, the TV station itself had a lot to do with like just buggering up everything and making the show worse. 
but I don't remember the names. Listy, I just realized I probably watched Ghostbusters as a toddler because it came out the same time, the same year I was born. I remember seeing it my whole life. Yeah, I keep forgetting that, like, you're about five or six years um, older than me, Listy. Uh, YouTube Dreamers, my brother and I are going to see a symphony perform the soundtrack to the first film. Wow, lucky. Very lucky. Um, our spotter says Q5. Is that the name of the company? Uh, don't don't be bored. The second film was technically my introduction, but Vigo uh, scared me pretty badly as a child. Then I didn't see it until high school. Oh, if you think Vigo is scary, look into the guy who played Vigo. Uh, there's a really good video on him. Um, I forgot what his actual name was, but like there's if you look for Brandon Hardesty, um, uh, supporting actors. He does a show where he talks about char really interesting character character actors and their careers. And one of the, the actors he covered was the actor who played Vigo. And he was, I think, yeah, he was a German boxer who was absolutely friggin' mental. <laughs> like, the guy who played Vigo is probably scarier than Vigo. <laughs> he's so, he's so messed up. <laughs> um, blah, blah, blah. I only saw the first one around my tw film around my twenties. Weirdly, oh, interesting. Uh, so I think my first exposure was Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters two. I granted, I think it was the final act to the film. I had no idea what that was going on. Wow, that's quite quite a dive in. <laughs> uh, YouTube. As long as there is a music question, I'll be fine. I think there's one or two music questions. Uh, Listy Vigo just needs a nice little kitty, and he'll calm down. <laughs> uh, Leo. Oh, right, so Leo has, Leo has found the name of the video. Supporting Actor Spotlights, Norbert Gruppe. Look it up. Seriously, if you are if you really want to learn, learn more about, like... Because uh, the voice was done by Max von Sydow. But the actual look, the actual, like, physical performance was done by um, an, a, German, a German actor slash boxer called Norbert Gruppe, who was, like... Basically, it's the best of time, it's like... He would give Klaus Kinski a run for his money. Klaus Kinski for a run for his money. <laughs> I feel like if Klaus Kinski and Norbert Ru Gruppe met each other, the world would end. <laughs> crazy, crazy. Anyway, um, okay, so I'm needing to uh, be a bit more sensible with my Twitch now, so I'm going to be doing more um, ad breaks. We're going to try and implement ad breaks a bit more often because I know that's what we're supposed to do in order to make revenue on these kinds of things. I know it's a bit of a pain, um, but like, unfortunately, I don't make much money from Twitch unless I put the ad break on there. So um, just a two minute ad break, just a two minute ad break. It'll definitely warm yourselves up as well. You can get you can get ready before the quiz starts. So let me just pray. Pray. <laughs> let me just pray. Uh, <laughs> And now it should be only the um, subscribers, my Twitch subscribers, that can actually hear me while I set myself up, because I need to be set up from my end. Uh, blah, 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 blah. 50 questions in general, in to general, in total. 50 questions. Five rounds. Who will win? Who will win? What's winning pronunciation today? I'm doing so bad. Ah, I'm a god. I should say this. Uh, I'm hoping to come back on camera for videos for uh, my Papa Panic review coming soon. And I will be wearing the butler suit for it because it'll be the Ghostbusters Afterlife. Computer guys, so are the others in an ad break now? Yep, like, <laughs> if you're a subscriber, you can hear me chatting away right now. Um, if the ads are actually playing. You know what Twitch is like. Twitch can be a pain. Twitch can be a, a pain. Be all right. I still got my Catacris uh, YouTubes, by the way, but I broke his, I broke his hand. <laughs> he doesn't have a hand anymore. I, I, use, I use his drumstick to reset my... Um, uh, my modem. Uh, Listy, I don't mind ads so long as I get a warning. It's the giant screamy sudden ones on YouTube that annoy me. Uh, unfortunately, we have, to have, we have to have them. Because um, YouTube underpays us. <laughs> unfortunately. 
Uh, soda. Maybe it's because I've got this tune in onto my TV, but I'm not getting ads. No worries, no worries. Pospodu uh, says QV5 is a law firm that came with charts that showed the crew changes that had to be made in the cartoon just because. Whoa, wh why is it preparing two minute ad? Is it going to do ads constantly? What? What? <laughs> No, right. Let's, let's refresh the screen. I'm not having. A, I'm not having ads playing every five. Mi Thank you. Jeez. Uh, Leo, did I miss anything while ads are on? No, I was just. I was just rambling. <laughs> I was just rambling. <laughs> I've rarely. I. I've rarely seen what Twitch. What Twitch streamers do while they have ramp up breaks on. So I don't know what I'm supposed to do. And I don't know who is a subscriber, so I don't know who to talk to. <laughs> Uh, so Listy says, how is Gillian Anderson still so freaking hot? I don't know what that's a reference to. <laughs> that comes come out of nowhere, Listy. Give me guy. Oh dear, I'm tired. I heard Kid Icarus. Kid Icarus. Um, Leo, did I miss anything while... Yeah, yeah, sorry, I just read that already. Oh my god. Right, let us begin the quiz. <laughs> this is the reason why Gillian... <laughs> Because Jillian was in the ad he got. He could have sent that first listing because we had no, no idea what we're talking about. Most people probably got different ads. <laughs> and I didn't see any ads. <laughs> okay, so uh, please do not put answers in your chat. It's not fair on those that have come for a challenge. Um, if you want to join the quiz, if you want to take part, you don't have to, but if you want to, click the quiz get logo on the side of chat, which you can usually find by hovering your mouse over the stream player, then click allow access and grant permission. Okay. And I am pretty ready on mine, so I don't have to worry too much. Uh, I'll give the instructions one more time in a minute. How confident is everyone? D d d does anyone here that feels like, yeah, I got this. I'm going to win. I don't know what that voice was, but uh, YouTube dreamers. I got a Taco Bell ad. <laughs> I want to. I want to know what every. If you got an ad, let me know what it was, because it'd be funny to like hear everyone's different ones. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now that someone has said I got Julian Anderson, and another person says I got Taco Bell, it just makes me imagine like an X Files ad for, for Taco Bell. <laughs> That'd be sick. And. Uh, da, da, da. Like, I've never wanted a victory so badly. Oh. Uh, I suppose it's slightly better than average chances. Uh, don't be, not particularly, but I'll get at least questions on the first two movies and possibly 2016, right? Only saw Afterlife once. I will watch again one day. Uh, okay, and give me answers a little. So one more time, one more time for folks. Please do not put answers in chat. Not, have fair, not fair for people to have come for a challenge. If you want to join, you can join. You, all you have to do is click the Quizkit logo on the side of the chat, which you can usually find by hovering your mouse over the stream player. Then click allow access and grant permission. So, let us begin. You should be getting an instruction image, which is basically everything I just rambled, but explained less, less well. <laughs> Okay, so 50 questions, five rounds. Each round will have a specific topic related to Ghostbusters. So don't assume that this is just going to be a quiz on the first two films. Here we go, question one. In the first Ghostbusters movie, in the first Ghostbusters movie, which authority becomes concerned about the Ghostbusters activities? Ecological Defense Team, Environmental Protection Agency, Nature Care United, or Forest Shield Bureau? Uh, so question one, in the first Ghostbusters movie, which authority becomes concerned about the Ghostbusters activities, Ecological Defense Team, Environmental Protection Agency, Nature Care United, or the Forest Shield Bureau? My mum is a, an environmental teacher. <laughs> Feels like she could be working for any of these companies. Uh, the answer is the Environmental Protection Agency, and you all got it correct. Well done! Good sign, good sign. These these kind of questions are tricky, because you've got to remember the exact names of some very formal kinds of... Uh, Agencies. Okay, so next question, next question. Come on, quiz kit. Question two. In Ghostbusters 2, what is the name of the tyrannical magician who tries to take over the world? I think we all, we accidentally spoiled this, but oh well. Gabor the Master, Irvin the Conqueror, 
uh, Dasko the Defeater or Vigo the Carpathian. So question two in Ghostbusters 2. What is the name of the tyrannical magician who tries to take over the world? Is it Gabor the Master, Irvin the Conqueror or Dasko the Defeater or is it Vigo the Carpathian? Uh, Kamiga, wait. Uh, Kamiga says, wait, wait, wait. I don't see Quake. Ah, rushing towards computer now. This is not a drill. Oh, no. Good luck. Answer is Vigo the Carpathian. Vigo. Vigo, Vigo. Okay, question three, question three, question three. Come on, quick kid. Come on, stop being a slow boat. Okay. Uh, so, I really need to re watch Ghostbusters. I forgot both movies on DVD. Go for it. Question three in Ghostbusters answer the call. Which university is Erin working at as a professor? Uh, is it Columbia University, New York University, Cornell University, or Yeshiva University? So question three, in Ghostbusters, answer the call. Which university is Erin working as a professor at? Columbia University, uh, New York University, Cornell University, or Yeshiva University? I was part of it. I thought that was a Simpsons movie reference or it's right worth choosing EPA. <laughs> you could have done. You could have done. <laughs> okay, so the answer is Columbia University, the same university that I think Ray and Egon attended. Da, 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 da. So question four, question four, question four, quiz kit, quiz kit, come on, come on, chop chop quiz kit, <laughs> chop chop quiz kit. Question four, in Co Ghostbusters Afterlife, what is the name of the fictional Oklahoma town that the film is set in? Winterville, Fullville, Somerville, or Springville? So question four, in Ghostbusters Afterlife, what is the name of the fictional Oklahoma town that the film is set in? Winterville, Fullville, Somerville, or Springville? Big part of the movie. Huge part of the movie, even. So, but what, what was the official name of this town, this little Oklahoma town? Do you know? I need to turn my sound up. Hang on. And the answer is... Somerville! Ah, uh, QuizKit's not working on computer either. I'm really annoyed. I'm really sorry about that, computer guy. I'm really annoyed at QuizKit. QuizKit has so many flaws, but it's the only free Twitch quiz app, I'm afraid. Uh, hopefully, when I eventually start making more money through Twitch, I can use some, like, services that will be much better quizzes. Um, okay, so, yeah, the answer was Somerville. Question 5 in Ghostbusters... Uh, the first film, which uh, character becomes possessed by the Keymaster, Janine Melnitz, Walter Peck, Lenny Klotch, or Louis Tully? So question five, in Ghostbusters, which character becomes possessed by the Keymaster, Janine Melnitz, Walter Peck, Lenny Klotch, or Louis Tully? Which one of those characters becomes possessed by the Keymaster? The answer is Louis Tully. Rick Moranis. Yay! Most have got that correct. Well done. Moving on to question six. Question six. <laughs> Leo, Walter Peck is the key master. Now I want to see that. <laughs> uh, question six. In Ghostbusters 2, which American landmark do the Ghostbusters bring to live and pilot in the finale? The Seattle Space Needle, Mount Rushmore, the Lincoln Memorial, or the Statue, Statue of Liberty. So question six in Ghostbusters 2, which American landmark do the Ghostbusters bring to life and pilot in the finale? The Seattle Space Needle, Mount Rushmore, the Lincoln Memorial, or the Statue of Liberty? How well do you know your Ghostbusters 2 lore? How many times have you even watched Ghostbusters 2? <laughs> which of those memorials did they um, pilot? The answer is the Statue of Liberty, you all... Got that correct, so that definitely means that you've all pretty much watched Ghostbusters too many times, most likely. Uh, okay, question seven. When it loads. Quiz kit. Damn it, quiz kit. Quiz kit. <laughs> question seven. In Ghostbusters Answer the Call, what did the Ghostbusters originally call themselves? Ghoul Snatchers, Avengers Against the Paranormal, Spirit Catchers, or Conductors of the Metaphysical Examination. So question seven in Ghostbusters answer the call. What did the Ghostbusters... What, did I put what did this Ghostbusters... Sorry about that. What did the Ghostbusters originally call themselves? Uh, Ghoul Snatchers, Avengers Against the Paranormal, Spirit Catchers, or Conductors of the Metaphysical Examination. The answer is Conductors of the Metaphysical Examination. Uh, most fun for Ghoul Snatchers, the one I made up. <laughs> Ospardo seems to be getting a bit cocky now. <laughs> 
I like to make my first rounds a little easy to warm people up, so, yeah. Um, question eight, what type of scientist is Gary Gruberson in Ghostbusters Afterlife? Microbiologist, astronomer, uh, botanist, or seismologist? So question eight, what type of scientist is Gary Gruberson in Ghostbusters Afterlife? Microbiologist, astronomer, <laughs> botanist, or seismologist? What was Gary's job? So Paul Rudd's character, what was his job in uh, Ghostbusters Afterlife? The name is still funny, Computer Gamer. <laughs> I love his name. And it's such a Paul Rudd kind of name as well. <laughs> it fits him. The answer is Seismologist. Uh, slight spit, split. Uh, we've got some people going for Microbiologist and others going for Seismologist. Okay, almost the end of this first round. Okay, question nine. In Ghostbusters, what kind of building do the Ghostbusters catch, capture Slimer in? Prison, hotel, art museum, or a library. So question nine, in Ghostbusters, which kind of building do the Ghostbusters capture Slimer in? A prison, a hotel, an art museum, or a library? Uh, so it says, I feel I should know this question because I saw a lot of Ghostbusters Afterlife early this morning. Ah, uh, I saw it the other day. Okay, 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 okay. So where did they capture Slimer? It was a hotel, all got it right. Well done, well done. <laughs> Leo, you have a date with Gary Gruberson. <laughs> so good, it's so good. <laughs> I feel doesn't it feel like Paul Rudd's name should just be Gary Gruberson? He looks like a Gary Gru Gruberson. He does. <laughs> it fits him more than Paul Rudd. <laughs> uh, bu -bu -bu. Leo, I feel cocky that I know the hotel full name in the history. Yeah, I didn't want to. <laughs> uh, I was gonna go for that. I was gonna go for that. Okay, so uh, last question of the first round uh, was question 10. Which Ongo Boingo song is heard in Ghostbusters 2? Dead Man's Party, Insanity, Flesh and Blood, or Nasty Habits? Question 10. Which Ongo Boingo song is heard in Ghostbusters 2? Dead Man's Party, Insanity, Flesh and Blood, or Nasty Habits? Ooh. This is one of the trickier ones. You really got to know your uh, Ghostbusters soundtracks. And I gotta know you're on Gabongo too. <laughs> and the answer is Flesh and Blood. Most went for Dead Man's Party, and I knew they would, but the answer was Flesh and Blood. Flesh and Blood was made for the film by On Gabongo, but they only used a part of the song, which really annoyed Danny Elfman. Uh, okay, so that was the end of the first round, which was a movie related round. We're now on to the real Ghostbusters round. The next 10 questions are all about real Ghostbusters. Here we go. Do, 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 do. Question 11. In the real Ghostbusters, what was the name of the electric ghost that takes over a pla power plant? Zapzilla, Thunder Tron, the Phantom Bulb, or Kilowatt? So question 11. In the real Ghostbusters, uh, what was the name of the electric ghost that takes over a power plant? Zapzilla, Thunder Tron, the Phantom Bulb, or Kilowatt? So yeah, what was the name? What was the name of this character? This uh, zap, zappy zappy um, <laughs> electric character. And the answer is Kilowatt. You all got it correct. Well done. He was voiced by James Avery, the, who was also the voice of Shredder in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and was um, uh, Uncle Phil in Fresh Prince. So Uncle Phil was a Ghostbusters ghost. <laughs> Uh, question 12. In the real Ghostbusters episode, Mr. Sandman, Dream Me a Dream, which historical f icon helps the Ghostbusters? Albert Einstein, Leonardo da Vinci, Sigmund Freud, or William Shakespeare? So question 12. In the real Ghostbusters episode, Mr. Sandman, Dream Me a Dream, which historical icon helps the Ghostbusters? Albert Einstein, Leonardo da Vinci, Sigmund Freud, or William Shakespeare? Which one? Who did it? The answer is Albert Einstein. Everyone went for Sigmund Freud. I'm so glad that I did it. <laughs> I knew people were going to go for Sigmund Freud. I remember like maybe people, most people go for Freud. <laughs> but no, Albert Einstein it appears in a dream, uh, in Egon's dream. Um, question 13. In the real Ghostbusters, which character ends up getting their own genie? Winston, Janine, Peter or Ray? So question 13, in the real Ghostbusters, which character ends up getting their own genie? Winston, Janine, Peter or Ray? Which of those characters has a genie? 
Yes, the real Ghostbusters it gets pretty damn weird sometimes. <laughs> this is one of the less, less weird episodes. <laughs> We're just saying a lot. <laughs> Uh, the answer is Janine. Janine gets a gets a genie. Okay, question fourteen. Question fourteen. Come on, quiz get. Come on, quiz get. Come on, come on, quiz get. What are you doing? Uh, question fourteen. Which real Ghostbusters episode is about Winston taking on ghosts in a game of baseball? Flip side. I am the city. Night game or the scaring of the green? So question 14, which real Ghostbusters episode is about Winston taking on ghosts in a game of baseball? Uh, flip side, I am the city. Night game, the scaring of the green. I know that sounds silly as hell, but it's actually a really damn good episode. <laughs> The answer is night game. Everyone just chose their own answer for this one, it seems. <laughs> But yes, the answer was ninth game. I do recommend people watch that one. It's 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 weird, but like a really cool, spooky kind of weird, and kind of funny as well because of the whole premise. Uh, question fifteen: The real Ghostbusters episode, guess what's coming to dinner, features a, features ghost parodies of which famous cartoon family? The Simpsons, the Flintstones, the Adams, or the Jetsons? So question fifteen: The real Ghostbusters episode, guess what's coming to dinner, features a ghost parody of which famous cartoon family? The Simpsons, the Flintstones, the Adams, or the Jetsons? Which one? Ooh. It was the Simpsons, yes. It was the Simpsons. They're all like weird yellow characters, the yellow ghosts that look like Homer Bart, um, Marge, and Matt Bart, <laughs> Homer Bart, Marge, and Lisa. Okay, question 16. In Stay Tuned, what is the name of the cartoon character that breaks into the real world? Jimmy P. Weasel, or Sammy K. Ferret, Buddy L. Bunny, or Roger N. Duck? So question 16. In Stay Tuned, what is the name of the cartoon character that breaks into the real world? Is it Jimmy P. Weasel, Sammy K. Ferret, Buddy L. Bunny, or Roger N. Duck? So which one? The answer is Sammy K. Ferret. Got a bit of a split. Got some going for Jimmy P. Weasel, some going for Sammy K. K. Ferret, and one going for Buddy L. Bunny. But the correct answer is Sammy K. Ferret. Next question. Uh, question 17. Which uh, real Ghostbusters episode is about Peter trying to save his day from a night's ghost? All night long, hard night's day. Uh... <laughs> A Night in the Ring, Medieval Madness. So is it All Night Long, Hard Night's Day, A Night in the Ring, or Medieval Madness? So do the designs may be parodies of Simpsons, but they certainly don't have the voice or, or personality of the Simpsons. No, they don't. No, that's intentional, though. Um, so yeah, what was the name of the episode where um, there's, a, there's a night ghost and uh, Peter's got a date? <laughs> Hard Night's Day is the name of the episode. Hard Night's Day. All the other names there were things I made of myself. Okay, question 18. In the real Ghostbusters episode, Very Beast Friends, which two gods end up possessing two of the Ghostbusters? Um, Ashnar and Kish Kishar, uh, Hades and Zeus, Ebisu and Fujin, or Anubis and Horus. Very sorry if we mispronounced any of those. Question 18. In the real Ghostbusters episode, Very Beast Friends, which two gods end up possessing two Ghostbusters? Ashnar and Kishar, um, Hades and Zeus, Ebisu and Fujin, or Anubis and Horus? The answer is Anshar and Kishar. Nobody voted for those. <laughs> Most went for Anubis and Horus. Okay, okay, okay. We're almost at the end of the real Ghostbusters round. Question 19. In the real Ghostbusters episode, Big Trouble with Little Slimer, Slimer which villain takes Slimer and plans to destroy him? Uh, is it the Grundle, the Ghostmaster, the Boogeyman, or Walter Peg? So question 19. In the real Ghostbusters episode, Big Trouble with Little Slimer, which villain takes Slimer and plans to destroy him? The Grundle, the Ghostmaster, the Boogeyman, or Walter Peck? 
this is a very famous episode that people a lot of people don't like because of the depiction of a certain character. The Simpsons Ghost from Married to Children parody. Yeah, the, it's like a bo mix of both of them. Um, so the answer is Walter Beck. Ooh, straight split with this one. Um, it was like the Grundle and Walter Peck, but it was Walter Peck. Okay, last question of the real Ghostbusters round. Which real Ghostbusters episode is about the Ghostbusters having to babysit a baby Egon? Boo Boo Gaga, Nursery Nightmare, Free Ma Men and the Egon, or the Egon Sitters? Um, so question 20, which real Ghostbusters episode is about the Ghostbusters having to babysit a baby Egon? Boo Boo Gaga, Nursery Nightmare, Free Men and Egon, or the Egon Sitters? What was the name of the episode? The answer is Free Men and an Egon. Free Men and an Egon. So, how confident is everyone so far? Do you, do you feel like you're doing well? Do you think you could win? Because <laughs> uh, we're now into the next round. This is the comics round. Question 21. In the, ID, in the IDW comics, which of the following cartoon franchises had a crossover with the Ghostbusters? Thundercats, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Are Real Monsters, or Futurama? So, question 21. In the IDW comics, which of the following cartoon franchises had a crossover with the Ghostbusters? Thundercats, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Are Real Monsters, or Futurama? Which one of those franchises had a crossover with Ghostbusters as part of an IDW comic series? The answer is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. To be fair, Team NT have had crossovers with everyone at this point. <laughs> uh, Kibu Guy says, I have answered one question this round, so I'd say I'd say that my confidence is pretty low. Bless you, bless you. I think you had glitches though, didn't you? Uh, question 22. Which of the following is not a real Ghostbusters graphic novel? Crossing over... Haunted Holidays, The Devil's Tower, or Ghosts of Cybertron? So question 22. Which of the following is not a real Ghostbusters graphic novel? Crossing Over, Haunted Holidays, The Devil's Tower, or Ghosts of Cybertron? Uh, Lewis says the IDW comics had so many crossovers near the, the end of its runs, we were wishing they would go back to finishing the stories, but the Team NT was pretty early. It was quite early. Uh, da -da -da. So the answer was Devil's Tower. That's the one I made up. Uh, most went for Haunted Holidays, which is an actual, it's an actual uh, Ghostbusters comic. Okay, so next question. Question 23. Uh, in the IDW Ghostbusters comics, which classic painting does Janos uh, Poha recreate in tribute to the Ghostbusters? Uh, Liberty Leading the People, The Garden of Earthly De Delights, The Harvesters, or The Last Supper. So which of those paintings did Janos recreate in tribute to the Ghostbusters? Which one? Which one do you think it was? Okay, so the answer was The Last Supper. You recreated The Last Supper. Uh, Dump Boo. Well, it's good to see he's on better terms then since the second movie. Oh, there's a whole. There's, Leo can explain much more about it, but like, uh, like Yanosh's story does not end with Ghostbusters 2. It's just, there's way more. There's way more in the franchise. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Question 24. What is the name of the one shot black and white Ghostbusters manga? Uh, Ghostbusters Curse of the Reaper. Ghostbusters Samurai Ghost Showdown, Ghostbusters Ghost Busted, or Ghostbusters The Six Golden Ghouls? So question 24, what is the name of the one-shot black and white Ghostbusters manga? Uh, is it Curse of the Reaper, Samurai Ghost Show Showdown, Ghost Busted, or The Six Golden Ghouls? Is Leo kidding? No, Leo's not kidding. Oh, so all-knowing. I need my glasses half the time, I swear. All-knowing. <laughs> Well, that's the thing, everyone. Um, Leo is completely obsessed with Ghostbusters, like insanely obsessed with Ghostbusters, and was the co-writer for, co-writer and consultant for my um, my own Ghostbusters reviews for Puppet Panic. So we have a lot of competition. Let's just say <laughs> she's been hyped about this. So the answer for this is Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters, and everyone just guessed their own thing with this one. But yeah, the the least interesting sounding one was the one that it was. <laughs> 
All the other ones, ones I made up to sound like Marginate. Uh, question 25. The Ghostbusters comic book Convolution is set during which holiday? 4th of July, Christmas, Easter, or Thanksgiving? So question 25. The Ghostbusters comic book Convolution is set during which holiday? 4th of July, Christmas, Easter, or Thanksgiving? So which which date, which ta which holiday, which holiday did Convolution take place during? Has anyone here actually read Ghostbusters com comics, by the way? Uh, the answer is 4th of July. It's set during 4th of July. Okay. Question 20, 26. Come on, 20, come on, 26. Come on, quiz case. 26. What is the name of the Ghostbusters comic that depicts the Ghostbusters as Funko Pop, Pop toys? Funko Galaxy, Funko City, Funko Universe, or Funko World? So what is the name of the Funko Pop Ghostbusters comics? Funko Galaxy, City, Universe, or World? Do you know? Is it coming to your mind? Is your brain ticking? The answer is Funko Universe. Most went for Funko World, but it's called Funko Universe. Whole comic where it's just the Ghostbusters as Funko Pops. Um, bah, 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 question 27 the IDW uh, Ghostbusters comics introduced Gozer's father but what was his name Mozar G, Gizard Zok Bulldozer or Kozar Ray so question 27 the IDW Ghostbusters comics introduced Gozer's father but what was his name Mozar G, Gizard Zok Bulldozer or Koza Ray. Uh, Lee, I just remember the comics where Funko Egon gets kicked in the bollocks. What is this comic? <laughs> I thought Funkers were going to be cute. <laughs> okay, so question 27. The answer was Koza Ray. Koza Ray was the uh, Ghost's father, sorry. <laughs> Disappeared into another dimension there. Um, yeah. Question 28, getting closer and closer to the end of the comics round. They introduced Goza's sister too, apparently. Uh, so question 28, when did this go when did the Ghostbusters comic series Ghostbusters the Other Side first start releasing issues? October the October 2008, March 2006, August 2009, or July the 2007? So question 28, which when did the Ghostbusters comic series Ghostbusters the Other Side first start? releasing issues March 2006 October 2008 August 2009 or July 2007 the answer is October 2008 most went for August 2009 but it was October 2008 one more question one more question for the comics round and then we're moving on to the next round question 29 uh, how many issues, oh I think two more questions actually, how many issues did volume one, volume, just the first volume of the IDW Ghostbusters ongoing series comics have? 20, 18, 10, or 16? So question 29, how many issues did volume one of the IDW Ghostbusters ongoing series comic have? 20, 18, 10, or 16? Answer is 16. Wow, lots of enough or more people just like clicking, clicking their own their own answers. <laughs> uh, okay, I think it's one more one more comics question, and then we're moving on. Okay, question 30. Who wrote the Ghostbusters comic Tainted Love? Louise um, Simonson, Alan Grant, Dara Naragi. Naragi, I think, I'm so sorry for a butcher that I did practice it before this. Roger or Roger Stern. So question 30, who wrote the Ghostbusters comic Tainted Love? Was it Louise, Ellen, Dara or Roger? Let's give some credit. Let's give some credit. Talent deserves credit. But who? <laughs> the answer is Dara. Dara wrote it. Okay, so that's the end of the comics round. 
We're now going to move on to the video game round. The Ghostbusters video games. There's quite a lot. <laughs> Question 31. Which of the following is not a real Ghostbusters video game? Spirits Unleashed, Paranormal Blast, Sanctum of Slime, or Ghoul Armageddon? So question 31, which of the following is not a real Ghostbusters video game? Spirits Unleashed, Paranormal Blast, Sanctum of Slime, or Ghoul Armageddon? So which one of those did I make up? <laughs> That's the question. Which one sounds like I made it up? <laughs> When I made it was Gold Armor Gendon, it seems like most of you got it. <laughs> All the other games are real. All the other games are real. Okay, next question, next question, next question. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, question 32. Which console did not get a port of the original 1984 Ghostbusters arcade game? The Atari 8 bit, the ZX Spectrum, the ColecoVision, or the Commodore 64? So, question 32, which console did not get a port of the original 1984 Ghostbusters arcade game? Atari 8-bit, ZX Spectrum, ColecoVision, or Commodore 64? So, which of those consoles could you not play the original 1984 Ghostbusters arcade game on? And we're going quite far back now, you got to really know your retro games. But the answer was ColecoVision. Most went for ZX Spectrum, but it was, it was released on ZX Spectrum. Ghostbusters had an arcade game. They did. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot. There's way more uh, Ghostbusters video games than you probably think. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> uh, question 33. In Ghostbusters the video game, what is the name of the character that players play as? The rookie, the newbie, the trainee, or the junior? So question 33. In Ghostbusters the video game, what is the name of the characters... The character, sorry. The character that players play as? Uh, the rookie, the newbie... The trainee or the junior. So what's your name when you play Ghostbusters the video game? Rookie, newbie, trainee or junior? The answer is the rookie and you all got it right. <laughs> well done. Well done indeed. Okay, on to question 34. Uh, Leo, the character is also given a proper name in the comics. It's a reverse play on his actor's name. Oh, that's cute. I like that. Um, question 34. Which of the following is an actual extreme Ghostbusters video game? Zap the Ghosts, Proton Power, Christmas Chaos, or Haunted Disco? So question 34. Which of the following is an actual, real, extreme Ghostbusters video game? We've got an extreme Ghostbusters question. Like I said, Zap the Ghosts, Proton Power, Christmas Chaos, or Haunted Disco? So I made up three of those. <laughs> Which one is the real one? Which is the real one? The answer is... Zap the Ghosts is the real one. Most one for Proton Power, the one I made up. <laughs> uh, as part of my video game knowledge, starts with NES and ends with the video game. Uh, can we go? And of course, I don't know the answer to that one. Oh, no worries. Question 35. What score did IGN give to the port versions... All the port versions, sorry, of Ghostbusters Sanctum of Slime. 4.5 out of 10, 8 out of 10, 6.5 out of 10, or 3 out of 10. Leo, uh, yeah, the rookie is called Brian Welsh, uh, playing his actor Ryan French. Oh! Well, uh, as a quarter Welshman, I like, I like that name. <laughs> uh, okay, so what was the IGN score for all the ports of Ghostbusters Sanctum of Slime? 4.5 out of 10 was what IGN gave uh, Ghostbusters Sanctum Slime on all its ports. So all the, when they reviewed all the versions, all the console releases, like Xbox, PC, whatever, they gave, gave them all 4.5. As uh, so a question 36, what is the, which of the following is not a real Proton Pack upgrade in Ghostbusters the video game? Shadow Booster, Shock Blast, Slime Blower, or Meson Collider? So question 36, which of the following is not a real po Proton Pack upgrade in Ghostbusters the video game? Shadow Booster, Shock Blast, Slime Blower, or Meson Collider? So which of those, which one of those did I make up? Can you spot it? Which one is from my imagination? The answer is Shadow Booster. Most of you got, most of you went for your own kind of thing with this one. <laughs> 
Cheerio, Soda, no worries. Okay, question 37 coming up. Shadow Booster was the answer for that, by the way, if you missed that. Uh, question 37, which year did the Ghostbusters pinball mobile game release? 2014, 2005, 2008, or 2012? So question 37, which year did the Ghostbusters pinball mobile game release? 2014, 2005, 2008, or 2012? Ghostbusters pinball, when did it get released on mobile phones? Which year? Come on, quiz game. <laughs> the answer is 2014. It came out in 2014. Uh, Leo, Sanctum of Slime was not well loved, but it appears as one of the many parallel Earths in the Ghostbusters first, with Yanosh's nephew, Alan, leading the team in the main comic universe. He's still just a child. Interesting. Uh, question, uh, question 38. When was the remastered version of Ghostbusters the video game released? Uh, September the 5th, 2018. October the 14th, 2020, October the 4th, 2019, or August the 24th, 2021. So question 38, when was the remastered version of Ghostbusters the video game released? September the 5th, 2018, October the 14th, 2020, October the 4th, 2019, or August the 24th, 2021. So when did we get the remastered version of Ghostbusters the video game? <gasps> it was October the 4th, 2019, the one that nobody picked. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. We're almost at the end of the video game round, by the way. Question 39. Which two LEGO video games feature the Ghostbusters as playable characters? LEGO Worlds and LEGO Cube. LEGO Dimensions and LEGO Legacy. LEGO Brawls and LEGO Tower. LEGO Fever and LEGO City Team Up. So which one of the two two LEGO games did uh, you get to play as the Ghostbusters? Was it LEGO Worlds and Cube? Was it Dimensions and Legacy? Was it Brawls and Tower? Or was it Fever and City Team Up? Which two games can you play as the Ghostbusters from LEGO? The answer is Dimensions and LEGO Legacy. You all got that one right. Well done. Well done. Seems like that out of all the video game questions, that was the one you were all most confident with. <laughs> Okay, we're on to the last question of the uh, video game round now. Question 40. What's the max amount of players who can play the multiplayer mode in Spirits Unleashed? 3, 7, 6, or 5? So question 40. What's the max amount of players who can play the multiplayer mode in Spirits Unleashed? 3, 7, 6, or 5? How many people can play Spirits Unleashed? Which came out this month, actually. It's, it's kind of like Ghostbusters Among Us. <laughs> I really want to play it. <laughs> but it's, it's very expensive. Uh, the answer is five. Only up to five players can play. I hope they increase it to like... So it's like a whole... Like an army of Ghostbusters can play the game. <laughs> That'd be sick. Okay, on to the behind the scenes questions, all to do with behind the scenes of the Ghostbusters movies. Um, so question 41, which Canadian actor was originally going to play Lewis Tully in the Ghostbusters movie? So Rick Moranis' character. Um, was it John Candy, Michael J. Fox, Eugene Levy, or Jim Carrey? So question 41, which Canadian actor was originally going to play Lewis Tully in the Ghostbusters movies? John Candy, Michael J. Fox, Eugene Levy, or Jim Carrey? Which of those Canadian actors was originally going to play with Lewis? The answer is John Candy. Most of you got John. Still miss John. John was a legend. Gone too soon. But they did give him a tribute, apparently, in the comics. Um, so question 41. Wait, oh, sorry. I've <laughs> just done that one. Question 42. How much did the original 1984 uh, Ghostbusters make at the box office? 447.7 million, 383.4 million, 295.2 million, or 109.1 million. So question 42. How much did the original 1984 Ghostbusters make at the box office? 447.7 million dollars, uh, 383.4 million dollars. 295.2 million dollars or 109.1 million dollars. Computer guy, wait, John Candy could have played Lewis Tully. Yep, that was going to happen. It was written for him. Uh, so the answer was 295.2 million dollars. That's how much it made at the box office. 
big big success. D -d -d Leo, uh, your pajama version of Louis Tully owned two Rottweilers played by John Candy. Oh yeah, I forgot he was going to be German. Um, for question 43, what is the running time for Ghostbusters 2? 97 minutes, 125 minutes, 108 minutes, or 84 minutes? So how long was Ghostbusters 2? When you look back on it, how long does it feel like it lasts for? Uh, was it 97 minutes, 125 minutes, 108 minutes, or 84 minutes? Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. The answer is 108 minutes. Oh, another question where everyone's just going for their own thing. <laughs> Fair enough, fair enough. Okay, next question, next question. Question 44. Who composed the music score for Ghostbusters Answer the Call? Patrick Doyle and Dudley, Alan Silvestri, or Theodore Shapiro? So, question 44. Who composed the music score for Ghostbusters Answer the Call? Was it Patrick Doyle and Dudley? Alan Silvestri or Theodore Shapiro. Which of those composers worked on the Ghostbusters remo reboot score? I think reboot. <laughs> reboot score. Uh, Ospado always loved Bob. He was his own best friend, but he was also one of my favorite characters of baseball. Aww. The answer was Theodore Shapiro. Theodore Shapiro. Okay, next question. Question 45. Go on, Quizkit. Stop dawdling, Quizkit. <laughs> I'll feed you to the Nightbot. Question 45. What was the budget for Ghostbusters Afterlife? $100 million, $75 million, $243 million, or $96 million? So what was the budget for Ghostbusters Afterlife? Was it $100 million, $75 million, $243 million, or $96 million? How much budget did they put into Ghostbusters Afterlife? How much does it look like? What does the budget look like? Okay, the answer is seventy-five million dollars. I was really surprised because, like, that's that's pretty damn cheap for nowadays. <laughs> and it, 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 I can see why it's that much because most of the film is set in like just this rural town, and I feel like most of the effects went to like the star names and the. I mean, most of the budget went to the effects and the stars. Yeah, it really isn't that much. It's kind of crazy. Uh, question 46. How many episodes of Extreme Ghostbusters officially aired? Well, another Extreme Ghostbusters question. I managed to slip it in a few times, even though I've not seen the show. 120, 55, 40, or 75. So question 46. How many episodes of Extreme Ghostbusters officially aired? 120, 55, 40, or 75. How many episodes do you think it lasted for? The answer is 40. It lasted for 40 episodes. Kind of typical for 2000s cartoons, to be fair. Uh, next. Next, 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 next. Question 47. Who voiced Dr. Egon Speng Spengler in The Real Ghostbusters? Peter Cullen, Jack Riley. Charlie Adler or Marie Maurice Lamarck? This is question 47. Who voiced Dr. Egon Spengler in The Real Ghostbusters? Was it Peter Cullen, Jack Riley, Charlie Adler, or Maurice Lamarck? Who does he sound like when you listen to, e when you listen to Egon? Who does he sound like? That'll help you, that'll help you work things out. Release Lamarck was the answer. I was probably an easy question this late. Again, you don't know. You might be confident in that question, but there might be some people here that might not be as confident. So keep that in mind. What's an easy question to you might be a hard question to other people. Okay, question 48. Oh, oh no, it's not that one yet. <laughs> okay, question 48. The Ghostbusters theme song faced a lawsuit for allegedly plagiarizing which song? Hold Me Now by the Thompson Twins, Wake Me Up Before You Go Go by Wham, I Want a New Drug by Huey Lewis, or The Killing Moon by Echo and the Buddy Man. So question 48. The Ghost, Ghostbusters theme song faced a lawsuit for allegedly, allegedly plagiarizing which song? Hold Me Now by the Thompson Twins, Wait, Wait Me Before You Go Go by Wham, uh, I Want a New Drug by Huey Lewis, or The Killing Moon by Echo and the Bunnymen. 
And that's was I Want a New Drug by Huey Lewis. I, I kind of listened to it before doing the stream and I'm like, I, I can't hear it. <laughs> I can't <gotta> hear it. <laughs> so, oh. <laughs> Oh, okay. Here we go. Here's the question. You can all groan now. You can all groan at this one. Question 49. If people rang the Ghostbusters hotline in real life, then they'd get a special message. But what was the number for the Ghostbusters out of these? Was it 374-475-1738? Was it 748-472-1482? Or was it 2128 nine seven one nine six four or was it four seven three dash eight four three dash one six seven four i could have made that a little harder actually looking back on it now um but only one person got it right <laughs> congrats to that person because that was one of the hardest questions i've ever come up with <laughs> Uh, question 50. Who voiced Slimer in the original 1984 Ghostbusters movie? Not in the cartoons, in the first original 1984 movie. Was it Dan Aykroyd, Ivan Reitman, Paul Wilm Chell, or Phil Hartman? So question 50. Who voiced uh, Slimer in the original 1984 Ghostbusters movie? Was it Dan Aykroyd, Ivan Reitman, Paul Wilm Chell, or Phil Hartman? Who voiced Slimer in the first Ghostbusters movie? The answer is director Ivan Reitman. You all got it right. Well done. Well done. Last question. You all got it right. <laughs> uh, can we go? I heard Ivan Reitman was a pretty tyrannical director recently. I, I don't really know much about his directing. Okay, here it is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna really slow this out. I'm gonna really drag this out. Yeah, Ivan was also the voice of all. I know. Yeah, uh, but like, I'm really gonna drag it out. Because I know that Leo is nervous as hell. So I'm going to tease Leo. <laughs> I wonder if Leo got first place. Hmm. And I wonder what I should have for dinner for tomorrow. Spaghetti. Uh, Shepherd's pie might be good. Hmm. Okay, I'll, sit. I'll do it. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll give the results. <laughs> okay, so here it is. By the way, I'm having pizza. Uh, no, I'm not having pizza tomorrow, am I? That's Friday. And the final results are... In first place is Leo Mitchell Art. <laughs> in second place is Computer Guy. In third place is Listy Rimsey the Third. In fourth place is Oz Pardo. In fifth place is Dominic Boo One. In sixth place is Contestant Ten. In seventh place is Contestant Five. Wow. <laughs> All is right with the universe. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, computer guy, you got second place. <laughs> yes, Leo, you, you did it. You did it. <laughs> Lester, you got third. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. You can definitely tell that Leo is the, the biggest Ghostbusters nerd in this chat. Because look at you, your points are insane. You had 200,000 more points than, than uh, the second place score. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, Leo, uh, Listy, uh, I can never change my name back. Huh? No, no, no. So well done, Leo. Congrats, everyone congratulate Leo. Well done. Well done. Uh, okay, so usually I ask everyone for suggestions for the poll for next week's quiz, but uh, like I announced recently, um, I, 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 I tried to get a cartoon saloon quiz going after it, after it finally won. And like two weeks in a row, there was technical difficulties. Like two weeks in a row, I tried to get a Cartoon Saloon done. And I promised I'd do it in November. So next week's quiz will be on Cartoon Saloon. Here's the problem, though. And this is me at my dumbest. I accidentally deleted the quiz I wrote for Cartoon Saloon movies. I'm so annoyed at myself. I was trying to delete space in Quiz Kit and I forgot. Oh, wait, I'm saving that quiz for November. I think my brain accidentally thought it was a quiz that I'd already done. I was like, oh no! So I have to write the whole quiz all over again next week. <laughs> I will get Cartoon Saloon done. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, no Relax Club on this Friday, I'm afraid, uh, because I'm going to be...
handing over to my friend, friends Callie and Henry's. Uh, we're going to be carving pumpkins and watching Bob's Burgers Halloween episodes, and then we're going to watch Wendell and Wild with pizza and cherry aid blood drink. <laughs> Um, and I think we're gonna have a Halloween cake after as well. It's gonna be a really damn fun night So unfortunately, I won't be doing the Relax Club this week I was gonna be doing a live pumpkin carving stream for Relax Club this week But I guess I'll do that kind of stream next year um, and, and things will be back to normal next week, but there will be the Halloween stream next week um, in terms of videos um, I've got two videos left to release this month. I'm gonna try and release them this month <laughs> But the Halloween special the Halloween day video will be Ghostbusters Afterlife for Public Panic um, but yeah, hope you're well, hope you're happy, hope you're smiling, hope you're having a spooky Halloween, um, and hope you have a good morning, good night, good evening, good afternoon, whatever time is for you, and